can someone please explain to me why games on Steam are costing so much? I mean, seriously, I bought two games within a week of each other, Steam took money from my account, and then charged me an extra on top of a game under $20. While I bought another game which was exactly $20, and they charged me less than the previous time. I found one pattern on top of all of this. It's been rounded to the nearest dollar, and I mean upwards of the nearest dollar. What's the problem with this? It's rounding up and not down. When I bought a game for $20, it cost $27. When I checked currency difference, it was $26.34. I may not have proof of this, but I'll show you that every little bit counts. So you know exactly why I am complaining, I'll show you my emails which contain information on transactions. And I'll show you my bank account which shows the transactions. And if it's hard for you to read the blurry shot, I'll just make it that you can reinterpret the receipt through text. Steam took 10 cents out of my Steam account to bring a game down in price. But did it really go down in price? Of course not. It cost her $29. Wait, it's, it's exactly $29.14 because 10 cents USD is 14 cents AUD. Now my bank account is fast and good, and I don't get electronic fees or anything unless I fail to make transactions because I don't have enough cash in my account. However, it was not the bank rounding, it was Steam. Go to EB Games or worse, and they'll charge you between a minimum of $20 and $29 maximum for $20 Steam. I can't verify it, but I am sure Steam in those shops today would be $27, as the other day was just $29. But I'd also like to tell people that if you want Steam credit, it may be best to just get credit through the shop instead of using a Visa card. Visa card, they could charge whatever they like. And what they like is an extra 80 cents from every user with the few cents in their accounts. If 100,000 people used Visa, Steam would have made $80,000, which is enough to buy my personal gaming computer about 35 times over. Imagine this was just one time in a whole year this happened. And people did it between 10 and 100 times in a year. Steam would be making a bucket load because you don't care about the extra cents in your pocket. Did an elder ever tell you to start saving with 5 cents and not to spend it? Well, I've seen so many five cents that my mother found in a year, she had enough to buy about $80 worth of Steam credit. Whoa. Now, I'd like to make my position clear as possible at this point in time. I'm a student studying game design in the city of Adelaide. Transport per week costs about $15 per week both ways, and I have to spend $30 a month on my ute for insurance. To register it costs $242 every three months. Every fortnight I get a hundred to hundred and twenty dollars out of two hundred and eighty dollars which I use to pay some of my own personal bills and the rest goes into family bills. And bills can vary between three hundred and twelve hundred dollars. Now before I forget I sometimes use my car, which I put $20 in per week or fortnightly, depending on how much I drive. If I was to figure out how much I can save, I can only save about $73 every three months. So buying these games was a one-off for me, and it would leave me with around $14 left over. I went and done a budget planner to make my life that little bit easier and only did my expenses out of the 120 I get fortnightly at max. So you know I was not messing around. I'll insert the pie graph with the expenses so you understand what's the cost like. Well anyway, I appreciate your time. You can have your own voice and opinions on this subject, this problem, this issue. Because, you know, it's affecting a lot of countries around the world. Well, anyway, guys, I will say thank you for watching. Have a great day and night. Goodbye.